Many people have the dream of becoming full-time artists and traveling the world, sharing their passions. But then, fear sits in. We have bills to pay, rent or mortgage, kids. But what is it like to move forward with your art? What happens if you live a life that puts your passion first? Meet Ramon Etc., a.k.a. Radius. I was introduced to Radius years ago, but really started to notice him because of his unique approach to sharing his music. In a project with another Chicago musician, Brother L, Radius would take his music to the streets. Brother L was the initial inspiration for that. He and I together were in LA and we were, we were uh, scoping out Little Tokyo. And I always noticed too that there were uh, outlets to plug in here. And he as well, we were just talking about that there. And uh, once we got back home, uh, he had a generator. And I saw him post a picture of himself rocking on the out Oakwood Beach, I believe, first time. I hit him up and we continued on our conversation from LA and then boom, we next thing I knew we were outside Lollapalooza and well, first we did an art gallery in Pilsen and then we were outside Lollapalooza. So yeah, it was just kind of like us walking together in LA getting inspired by Little Tokyo. And then also like we wanted create our own space to, to play, right? Use our own space, our own tools. Now let me set the scene. See, Ramon and Brother L weren't just bringing out an acoustic guitar to a street corner. They had chaos drum machines, synths, effects pedals, speakers, and a generator. And they would lug this gear, set up this production studio, and begin to play. And in a city like Chicago, anything can happen. From equipment getting stolen to getting arrested. But it was important for them to perform in an event of their making. I had to see this for myself, so a few years ago, I followed Ramon and Brother L to the North Coast Music Fest in Chicago. They began to set up their gear right outside the entrance to the festival, methodically connecting cables and building their setup. And it was finally time to play. They turned on their equipment and began to play the first few beats. <laughs> And then, the festival security pulled up and shut them down. About 30 minutes of hard work had to be undone. Undeterred, they moved the entire setup across the street and began to play. People really receive it very well. It's, 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 it's very powerful. Uh, our, our, our testimonials have been great. Feedback has been, been wonderful, whatever been for kids, from homeless people, uh, from friends of ours, or our new people wishing that we could stay and play longer. Even to some police not wanting to shut us down when they had to do their job, or letting us rock a little bit longer, or letting us go to another area, we continue to rock. Uh, the feedback has been very positive. What's up, bro? How you feel, man? Taking the next level, baby. <laughs> I'm old, man. You know, that's I'm how we do. The rest of the night went on without a hitch. Curious passerby stopped to check the scene and dance. And once the festival ended, a small crowd began to form for an impromptu end of festival dance party. It was great. The two played late into the night. North Coast Festival. Um, I remember you were there. But after you left, there was a cop that came over and was like, you know, uh, people are coming out here and you guys sound good. You know, I don't, I don't want to stop you. So he let us go a little bit longer. Fast forward one to two years and I caught up with Ramon in Berlin. He had saved some cash, bought a ticket and took a ride. He was set to share his music with Europe. I stopped for a small show at a venue called Common Ground. It's a scent shop and makerspace in Neukölln. Ramon had been invited to play an in-store session followed by a Q&A. I came out to Europe for the first time last this past fall. A shorter trip, about five weeks. I went through, I think, five different cities. And uh, I've always been inspired to come out here for many, many years. You really can't wait for somebody. You gotta take the initiative yourself. You know, I don't have a manager, an agent. I, 
I felt that for a long time I would get something like that and people would work with me to help me get out there and I've just built a network over time and felt it was just, I can't wait for somebody let me just continue to push further ahead I was already running around the states the major cities doing my thing and uh, I just want to continue to build so the only way to do that is, is to expand further and to uh, go go meet these people face to face that I've networked and, and build with and just keep pushing I want to open gates and uh, bring a bridge for people from Europe to home to tell a more proper story of, of, uh, or another perspective. A lot of people have one perspective of what people are doing in Chicago and people might have one perspective of what people are doing here. I want to open that, help open that up with people in both places and, uh, you know, see how we can build more, you know, and inspire other people. Heal people. The process and the absorbing and the reflection process uh, will be much, much greater when I actually sit down in a space to work. Um, I'm always working in some way, but when I actually sit down and work on my music, I feel that I'm going to reflect a lot of, of, this, of this experience. Man, just really want to get some grounding and work on work on music. I, I really want to create and learn a lot more with instrumentation, and I just want to build that way and. Uh, get some more material to some labels. I believe my purpose is to heal. I believe I'm a healer. I think that's that's really what it is. And you know, uh, I just see myself helping to heal more people and inspire more people. And uh, and I do I do see myself more comfortable financially able to do that. And uh, my, my label more established and uh, putting out more people's music that I enjoy as well. You know, friends of mine and things like that and just reaching more of the world, inspiring people and more healing. Yeah. For people that's uh, striving to do this and, uh, and interested in, 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 in interested in pushing this art, pushing their art, form, pushing really who they are, I really just got to say as, as much as possible without being cliche with it, be yourself and really, and really try to hone in on your who you are, your craft. Spend time with yourself, developing it. Spend time going out and study other, study other people and, and, and study other places. You know, and uh, really come back and bring it home and, and and really push for what you want. Push your sound. Don't be too hard on yourself. You know, traveling is is really important. Going to see other places and and getting an overall better understanding of life and who you are is gonna is gonna help you more so in your craft. So, um, and when I say explore and see other places, it's not just physically going to places. It's, 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 it's like for me, grabbing all kinds of records, grabbing all kinds of music, and not always going to sample them. Actually sitting back and listening, closing my eyes and, and thinking about what's going on. And that's another form of journeying as well. So I like to say that that's pretty much what my advice would be. To help Ramon move forward, check out some of the latest releases on his record label, Etc. Records. He also has a collection of photo books from his travels and other gear that's available on his site. I hope this provides some inspiration and motivation to move forward with the things you love. This is the goal of the series, to show you that with different levels of dedication, you can create art, music, and display your creativity. In some ways, Ramon represents the extreme, going all in to live a life dedicated to his art. And it hasn't been easy, but despite any hiccups or pain, he soldiers on. Take a step at a, at a time, no stress, no pressure. Like really listen to a lot of music and study and just be open to it and free as you, you can be. Get, get, um, realize that there's no box, there's no, there's no, there's no boundary, there's no limit. It's just continue to build and grow, and you know it's like you, you can't map, you can't, you can't put a time limit to that. You, you just, you know, and so it's okay. Um, even the mistakes and the failures aren't aren't that. You know, just keep. As long as you keep moving, you're an inspired, you're good. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. For me, this is that first step, the first in a series. 
focusing on funky people, places, things, and ideas from around the world. I know it won't be easy, but even the longest and most difficult ventures have a starting point. And this begins the first step. If you want to help with the series to push it forward, uh, visit us on Patreon at patreon.com slash funkytraveler or head over to the website funkytraveler.com. Still rolling. <laughs> I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs>